Hey guys, uh, welcome to your um, general love reading for the zodiac sign of Sagittarius. Will my ex return? So these are the Sagittarius that are currently single and maybe entertaining the idea of um, giving an ex a second chance or an ex giving you a second chance. So we're just going to take a look at um, what your current uh, views are towards your ex, Sagittarius, and then we'll take a look at your ex, what their current views are towards you. Uh, then we'll take a look at what happened in the past to cause you guys to split. And then we'll finish off the read with uh, if there's going to be reconciliation between you two. Um, so before we get started, <clears throat> If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please hit the subscription button and the notification bell so you guys could get up-to-date content that's being uploaded onto my channel. Uh, please uh, give this uh, video a thumbs up, like this video so that this message could circulate around to people that need to hear it. Um, leave a comment down in the comment section below if um, this message resonated with you and if you're interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link is in the description box below. So let's get started here. Uh, tell me about Sagittarius. What are their current views towards their ex? How is Sagittarius, uh, how is Sagittarius currently viewing their ex? How is Sagittarius currently viewing their ex? How is Sagittarius currently viewing their ex? How is Sagittarius currently being their ex? All right, we have the Four of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, the Lovers, Gemini Energy, Seven of Swords, Hangman, Pisces Energy, and the King of Wands. Leo Aries Sagittarius energy. Okay, I feel like you do view them as someone that you could have a potential long term commitment here with. But I feel like you were hurt by this person, perhaps. Nine of Wands, Five of Cups here. Um. I don't know if you view this person as like dishonest or someone that doesn't take any sort of action here. Someone might be going through some sort of, your ex might be going through some sort of Sort of like maybe spiritual growth. Perhaps trying to sort of like see things in a different perspective. I feel like someone made promises that they couldn't keep. So let's see, get some more messages here for you, Saj. Might be dealing with a Gemini, Pisces, another fire sign here. Um, one more shuffle. Alright, what's going on with this uh, Four of Wands? Another 
King of Cups. What's going on with this um, Seven of Pentacles? You have the Sun card, Leo energy. What's going on with this Lovers? You have Strength. Might be dealing with a Leo. What's going on with the Seven of Swords? You have the Six of Swords. What's going on with this Hangman? You have the Hermit. Yeah, I feel like someone's going through some sort of like spiritual awakening or trying to awaken. Doing some, someone's doing some sort of spiritual work on themselves. Tell me about the King of Wands. All right, you have the Knight of Cups. Six of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. I feel like you feel, you see this person as avoiding accountability. This person could have done something. This could have person could have lied in the past or stolen from you or just been deceptive. But I feel like you see this person as maybe perhaps marriage material. Um you see them as their happiness, but also I feel like you feel you see it, you're wondering if it if this like connection will ever grow or ever evolve. You could view this person as like holding back uh, in a way. Perhaps they are withdrawn. Um, let's see. Yeah, the King of Cups, perhaps, yeah, they're emotionally perhaps withdrawn. Yeah, the King of Cups clarifying the Four of Wands, the Seven of Pentacles being clarified by the Sun. Yeah, the Lovers being clarified by the Strength card, the Seven of Swords being clarified by the Six of Swords. You have the uh, Hangman being clarified by the Hermit, the King of Wands being clarified by the Knight of Cups. All right, let's see here. Tell me about Sagittarius's ex. How is, how is Sagittarius's ex currently viewing Sagittarius? How is Sagittarius's ex currently viewing Sagittarius? How is Sagittarius's ex currently viewing Sagittarius? Just so you know, the roles could be vice versa switched. So take it as it resonates. Um, right, you have Justice Libra Energy. You have the Lovers. Both of you have the Lovers. You have the Three of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords. It's in the same position. Uh, both of you don't trust each other. You have the Six of Swords, and you have the Empress here. You have the Two of Cups. Strong soulmate connection. Yeah, I just feel like both of you don't really trust each other. Um, it's like this energy of you guys feel like both, like, it's an energy where you guys feel like, um, you know, someone's doing, someone, doing something behind someone's back. Um, you know, there could be third parties involved with the Three of Pentacles here. Um, okay. Get some more messages here for you. What's going on with this justice card? Tell me about justice.
What's going on with justice? Tell me about justice. You have the high priestess. What's going on with the lovers? You have the nine of wands. What's going on with the three of pentacles? Five of pentacles. What's going on with the seven of swords? With the six of swords. So both of you guys have the Seven of Swords and the Six of Swords in the same position. Tell me I'll have to set, and yeah, and your ex has like two Six of Swords here, uh, Ten of Wands. What's going on with this Empress? All right, you have the Three of Wands. All right, you have Chariot here on the bottom of the deck, Cancer Energy. So, Sagittarius, how does your ex currently view you? I mean, it seems as though there's a lack of trust between you two. Um, I feel like you two could have done stuff to each other where you guys are not even accepting responsibility for it. I'm getting really, if anything, I'm getting two immature people that doesn't really know how to resolve conflict. Yeah, I feel like this ex is sick of this connection. Um, because there's a lack of balance here. There's a lack of stability. Um, I feel like this person sees you as someone that they could plan a future with. But at the same time, this has become a burden here because it seems as though whatever you guys haven't resolved, it's becoming baggage. You guys are just collecting baggage here. Yeah, and this baggage is becoming overwhelming. It's becoming to a point where it's becoming a burden. Um, I mean, some, I mean, both of you seems to want to, seem to want to move to calmer waters, but um, it just seems like both there's a lack of trust between you two. Um, let's see. We have justice, the um, high priestess, the uh, lovers with the nine of wands. There's like an inner knowing with this person that they, this this just, this connection is just not balanced. Even though there's like a strong soulmate connection. I feel like this person sees you as someone that's very insecure. Yeah. Um, and it, this person doesn't trust you either. You have the Six of Swords and the uh, Ten of Wands, the Empress and the Three of Wands here. All right, let's see what's, what happened here. Alright. Alright, what happened here between Sagittarius and their ex in the past? What happened between them? Why did they split? What caused the split here between Sagittarius and their ex? What happened here between them? What happened between Sagittarius and their ex? Sagittarius and their ex. What led to the split here? What was the reason that happened in the past to cause them to split Sagittarius and their ex? Let's see here. Four of Wands again. You have the King of Wands, okay. 
You have the Ten of Pentacles. You have the Five of Wands. You have the Devil card. Capricorn Energy and the Five of Pentacles. Seven of Swords here. You know, I feel like on both of your parts, it was like lying and deception with both of you guys. You have the Seven of Swords on the bottom of the deck here. There was toxic behavior going on. There was conflict. You guys could have been married. You guys could have been in a long-term commitment here. Um, what's going on with this Four of Wands? Could have been this King of Wands that was causing conflict. The one that was being manipulative and deceptive and toxic here. Um, let's take a look. All right, what's going on with this four of wands here? What is going on with this four of wands? Oh, this is not supposed to be in this deck. Let me put this up here. Let me just... Tell me about the Swallow Wands here. The Swallow Wands. Sagittarius energy. What's going on with this King of Wands? You got the Four of Wands again. This could be this could be like a karmic twin flame sort of thing that's going on here. What's going on with this Ten of Pentacles? You have the Ten of Cups. Yeah, you guys could have been married here. Or just been together for a very long time. What's going on with this Five of Wands? Ooh, you have the Death card. I did touch this one, so I'll take it. Ace of Pentacles. Ooh, with the Devil. Tell me about the Five of Pentacles. You have the Four of Pentacles. You have the Empress here on the bottom of the deck again. So we have the Empress out here two times on the bottom of the deck and on the table here. So what happened here between you two was that there was a lot of conflict here, a lot of toxicity, a lot of lying and deception here. I feel like... I just feel like whatever conflict you guys had, it was never resolved. The It never really... Yeah, it just seems as though whatever conflict that you guys had, whatever you, you... If you guys like called each other out on each other's BS, there was never any resolve. Um, it seems as though it's one of those things where it was just brushed under the rug or it just kept growing. This baggage kept growing and it just seemed like someone just got really overwhelmed and just walked away from this. Both of you could have walked away from each other, but it seems as though this was like a... Yeah, I just feel like this is like a karmic twin flame soulmate sort of thing. I feel like a lot of this mistrust is causing a lot of insecurities between you two. Um, 
Yeah, it just seems like someone here is wondering if she sh they should invest in this. I feel like both of these are in, the, in that same boat, but uh, one person in, in particular, I feel like... <sighs> someone is just moving away from this, and then you have someone else doing the self-work. I feel like that is how you see your ex, or someone here... You know, perhaps not doing the self-work and you feel like they need self-work. But you know what? Both of you need self-work here. Um, yeah, it just seems like... Yeah, there's a strong twin flame soulmate sort of thing going here. You have the King of Wands, Four of Wands, Temperance, Four of Wands. Um, you know, when these connections come together, I mean, not that they can't work, it's just both of you need to come together to transcend whatever karmic debt that you guys need to pay off together. Yeah, but if both of you are not willing to work together, of course this is going to fall apart. Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, Five of Wands. Um, death card. There is a lack of change from this conflict. There's a lack of resolve. I do feel like this is a very toxic connection. It's become very, very toxic because a lot of stuff that you guys have gone through has not been resolved. Yeah, it has not been resolved. As a result, it, it has become very toxic where it became, it's come to a point where you guys just didn't trust each other or were just like paranoid that someone was doing something or lying or, you know. So, will Sagittarius and their ex reconcile? Will Sagittarius and their ex reconcile from now until the end of March? Will Sagittarius and their ex reconcile here? From now until the end of March. Alright. Will Sagittarius and their ex reconcile from now until the end of March? Seven of Wands, you have the Eight of Swords, you have the Nine of Cups, um, you have the Devil here, again, Six of Pentacles, and the World card. Uh, you have the Empress on the bottom of the deck, yeah, there could be, um, there could be an age difference between the two of you guys. Someone's coming up as an empress. Someone's coming up as a king of wands. Um, I do, I do feel that you guys, someone will try to come forward to reconcile, to apologize. But um, I do feel like this, this, um, this cycle will close out. I do feel like someone's not going to give to this. Um, tell me about the seven of wands. Here. What's going on with the Seven of Wands? Tell me about the Seven of Wands. Tell me about the Seven of Wands. All right, you have the Lovers, Gemini Energy. Tell me about this Eight of Swords, King of Cups. What's going on with this Knight of Cups? Eight of Swords, again. Tell me about the Devil, the High Priestess. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles, Five of Wands. What's going on with the World? Six. 
Six of Wands, okay. Yeah, I just don't see it happening. I feel like someone's just trying to avoid more hurt here. Um, I do feel like this king here might be, you know, thinking about coming forward. But I feel like someone's just going to push it away. I feel like someone knows that this is just too hot, toxic and that this is just going to end in more heartbreak again. Yeah, I feel like so. I just feel like someone's just not gonna give to this conflict. Yeah, I feel like someone's just gonna end the cycle and just sort of focus on themselves here. Yeah, you have the six. No, the lovers being clarif uh, clarifying the seven of wands. The eight of swords being clarified by the eight of cups. King of cups. I'm sorry. You have the nine knight of cups being clarified by the eight of swords. The devil being clarified by the high priestess. Yeah, someone just knows that this is too toxic and it's just going to create more hurt here. Because um, it seems as though both of you are hurt. Um, the uh, Six of Pentacles being clarified by the Five of Wands. The World being clarified by the um, Six of Wands. Yeah, it just seems like there's a lack of trust here. And I just feel like there's an inner knowing that, you know, coming together, it just won't work. So Sagittarius, this was your general love reading. Will my ex return? If this resonated, please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks.